Anime fans are the new Sonic fans. You can literally slap anime onto any piece of garbage and people will buy it. Guilty Gear Strive is the first anime game in a while that is not a complete waste of your life. We, we just have to wait for it to connect to the network here. Just give it one. It's going to take a little bit, but then it gets good. <laughs> The fighting game genre has always been one of the most mechanically robust, from parries to counters to cancels, crush attacks, combo breakers, strings, cross ups, wave dashes, the Korean backdash, the Texas wimple slap, the New York City three bean surprise uppercut. Even the most simplistic fighter usually has more going on under the hood than your average video game. What developers have always struggled with though is putting all those tools in the hands of casual and intermediate players. Street Fighter is probably the most cartoonish example of this. For us normal people, Street Fighter is a very simple game of zoning and poking. And then you wake up one day and say, today I'm learning combos. And Street Fighter says, the fuck you are. Strive is like the flip side of this. The amount of systems seems daunting at first, but if you take a little time to learn them, it's really not so bad. Guilty Gear gives you a few options to get out of the corner. You can burst out or eat your meter to do a bounce block, which bounces the opponent backwards when they hit you. The defense mechanics are powerful but very finite, adding a layer of strategy. Then there's the dust attack. I love this shit. The duster is like the focus attack where you have to charge it up, except it's an overhead. People love to block low because it's very safe, but if you catch them blocking low too much, that's when you whack them with a dust attack and they go, bitch. If you didn't use your meter up on bounce blocks, then you can spend it on the Roman Cancel. Roman Cancel is one of the funnest mechanics I've seen in a fighting game. You hit the button and freeze time for a moment. Roman Cancel just makes it so easy for you to come up with your own wacky combos. It's such a fun, fun idea. The roster here is tiny compared to Goliaths like Smash Bros or Tekken 7, but it makes up for this in variety. These characters feel very distinct from one another, which is hard to do. Anime characters often have this kind of homogenous, soulless look to them. They all just kind of blur together. This guy looks like this guy, who 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 looks like Dragon Ball Fighters. I mean, half of that roster is literally the same exact guy with different colored hair. Not only does Guilty Gear have gonzo ass characters, every aspect of the presentation has this energy and passion behind it. Each match starts with a shot of an eagle soaring towards the stage, followed by the most hilariously overblown intro of all time. Mankind knew that they cannot change society, so instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. You got a big old hulking vampire with a samurai sword and a robo mask. He's slow as shit, but he can slash you from across the entire screen and his specials are insane. But if you use his specials too much, he blows up and dies. Faust is a 10 foot tall doctor slash serial killer with a paper bag on his head that hits you with a fishing pole, which is actually a golf club. His command grab gives you an afro and he throws little minions at you. May is a pirate with a gigantic anchor that can shoot dolphins at you like a like a hundred fucking dolphins every second. There's a witch with an electric guitar, there's a lady that punches you with her hair and then can turn into a hair moon, and Saul Bad Guy, who is actually the good guy of course. You're definitely missing a few classic characters though that hopefully are coming as DLC like uh, Leo Paulden, who is a gigantic shark that is controlled by a little doggy, but the doggy is controlled by this little sorcerer behind him. The story mode is a four hour cutscene that I am never going to watch, but even better is the GG world mode, which breaks down the story from Guilty Gear XX Action Core plus R all the way to Guilty Gear Exerd cosine to the third power. It all starts with the hooded man from Kingdom Hearts. He created the universal will, right? But Frederick is lovers with Arya, but who is colleagues with Asuka. But Frederick, that's the same guy as Shaw Bad Guy. That's the same person. But Biken hate 
gear, okay? Next game. This is where it gets crazy, because Melia love and hate Zato, okay? But this is my favorite part. This just says complicated. <laughs> Next game. Robokai is created. He seems extremely attracted to women. Baptisma 13. Look at this. Simple. Simple. Next game. The element that really brings this whole game together, though, is the soundtrack. This soundtrack is just... Oh, this soundtrack, I'm up by me, you know what I'm saying? Half of the fun of this game is just trying to figure out the lyrics. There's that one song where he goes, All oh, this bullshit blazing, still my heart is blazing. All these bullshit blazing, still my heart is blazing. Then they got the other song for the other guy's song that goes, And then Moon O'Hare, her song is badass. It's like. Oh, then they got that dolphin song in there. The dolphin starts singing. He goes. Ba 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 Fly like a tiger, walk in the park. Fly like a tiger, walk in the park. Then they got the classic, classic Joker song. And then it cuts out and it goes, I'm a cloud of flame! Arc System Works has done it again. They finally created a better fighting game than Clay Fighter on the Super Nintendo. I never thought it could be done. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I died. Oh, that's how it's gonna be? You gonna start dancing on me? You motherfucker. Dance on me? Eh? Shit! I am f no, I am fucking killing this guy. Nope, this guy fucked up. Now he fucked down, 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 down. <laughs> Dance in hell, you piece of shit. 